Hi everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another video in the Create a Sim Zodiac Signs series in which I am creating Zodiac Signs as Sims. Sims as Zodiac Signs, I always mix that up, I don't know why. Anyways, this week we are making the sign Cancer as a Sim. Before we start though, I want to say, you know, with all the things that have been going on these last few days that this channel and my social media are a safe space, so no matter where you come from, what your skin color is, your gender, sexuality, nationality, religion, no matter who you are, this is a safe space. And if you feel like you can't accept a certain person or a group of people for who they are, I ask you to educate yourself on the topic and come back when you can accept these people and then we can have a good time together, okay? Anyways, back to the zodiac sign cancer. I feel like I have to say zodiac sign cancer all the time because for me, um, as a person who speaks Dutch as a first language and where the words for the zodiac sign cancer and the disease cancer are different, I find it very weird that in English they have the same exact word. So forgive me if I say that a bit awkwardly. I, I feel awkward when saying that. So um, yeah. Anyways, let's talk a bit about the sign cancer. Everything that I'm going to be saying is from the book The Secret Language of Birthdays written by Gary Goldschneider and Joost Effers. I will leave a link to this book in the description down below because I recommend this book if you are into astrology. It, it's really nice to read. So yeah, anyone born between the 22nd of June and the 22nd of July is a cancer. The element of this sign is water and their colors are light colors like white and cream color and I tried to incorporate this in the sim as much as possible. I also gave her white hair which was sometimes a pain to work with because the hairline in some hairstyles is um, very visible and unnatural and it was very hard to match the colors of the different hairstyles but I think I managed. Anyway, cancers are protecting and patient, but they are not passive. And if they set their mind to something, they can get aggressive. They prefer not to make demands and expect others to sense their needs, sensitivities and fluctuating moods. An emotional bond matters way more to them than reason and logic. Cancers can be private people and have a talent to express themselves non-verbally. Trust is important to them and they can therefore not work together with people they don't have a bond with or if there's no mutual trust. Cancers have their peculiarities uh, which they like to show to the world and they are very aware of what makes them different from other people. Appreciation isn't as important to them as expressing themselves and their personal freedom. So there you have it, that is the concise description I'm gonna give you on Cancer. But um, yeah, I gave this sim a few traits, which now I'm looking at it, maybe don't make as much sense if you don't have all the information that I read in the book. Yeah, I gave her the uh, gloomy trait to represent the more fluctuating moods. I gave her the art lover, art lover trait, um, because it says that they are very talented at expressing themselves non-verbally. So I thought that was fitting, you know, art, can be very non-verbal but you know still very emotional i don't know if that makes sense and i gave her unflirty which <laughs> might confuse you because i also gave her the soulmate aspiration i gave her the soulmate aspiration because the theme of feeling and emotional bonds came back a lot but i also gave her the unflirty one because it says they are very private about these emotional bonds and feelings, you know, that they have and express. So that's why I gave the unflirty trait, you know, so that they wouldn't display this affection and stuff in public. You know, they prefer to do that in private. If you are wondering why I am not posting any eco lifestyle related videos at the moment, that is because today, you know, they the day that the expansion pack gets released and that I'm posting this video, I'm working. <laughs> so I cannot 
even play the expansion pack on today, the day that it comes out. So that's why there is another video for today. But when I get home from work, I am gonna get the expansion pack and start my new Let's Play, which I am so excited about because I haven't done a Let's Play in a long while. And I know I'm going from one topic to the other and um, it probably doesn't make sense, but I just want to say that I hope that you are all okay. And if you are not, either because of the quarantine or the riots and protests and everything that's going on and that very pressing issue, my Twitter messages are always open. So if you feel the need to talk about something, feel free to send me a message. I am always here. I might not respond immediately because time zones are a thing and I am not always on my phone. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I am not always on my phone. Yeah, if you feel like you need to talk to someone, I am here to listen. Always. On a lighter note, I am starting to get into skincare. I have never been into skincare at all actually and I didn't have many products that I use. But then I stumbled upon a video from Hiram. Like skincare by Hiram, I believe his channel is called. And I came across The Ordinary, which is a brand of mainly skincare products. They really appealed to me and so I did some research on skincare and on the brand itself and it's cruelty free, vegan, etc. So I decided to get some products from them and try them out. And the thing is my skin isn't looking perfect <laughs> and I do have some issues with dry skins and skin conditions. So I am very, 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 very excited to see how this is gonna affect my skin and if it helps because if it does oh i'll be so happy because i've never been really happy with the way my skin looks like the skin on my face the rest is fine that has always been one of my biggest insecurities so if that works if those products work that would be amazing let me know if any of you have experiences with the ordinary products and what those experiences are. Were they good? Were they bad? Just let me know in the comments, okay? I am very, very curious. Let me just say that I really love this shade of blonde on my sim. I think she looks gorgeous. And with the very, very bright eyes, I think she is beautiful. I really hope you think so too. I um, really try to give her like the white and cream colored clothing and style and stuff. And I did struggle quite a bit with her outfits, but I really hope you like her outfits because I think I managed in the end and she's gorgeous anyways, if I may say so myself. I did make the sim, like the sim herself, not her outfits, but the sim a long time ago and you know, I used to play with her. I had, I created a sim, a male sim who was evil and materialistic and stuff and a kleptomaniac and then I also created this female sim who was in the uh, is it the police FBI dete the detective career yeah and um, I made them fall in love which was very interesting and this girl over here was one of their kids and she was a gorgeous sim I didn't have to tweak her at all but yeah, I did manage to play the second generation, so this sim as well, and she found a boyfriend, and they had a cute little kitty, and then I abandoned them and started a new save. So <laughs> that's the end of the story, but it was kind of an accomplishment for me to play with the second generation as well, because usually I do not play more than just the first generation, if you get what I mean. I respect people that can play with 10 generations in the same save, really, and those challenges and stuff. Ugh, um, I am not a person who can do that. Or at least I haven't done that and until now I haven't enjoyed doing that. So um, second generation is the most that I have gotten to. 
how many generations do you generally play with? Do you, like me, make sims, play with them a bit and then start a new save with new sims? Or are you the type of player that can play with many generations in the same save? I would really like to know and if you can, I respect you. I do have this current household which right now is in the second generation as well and I'm very proud of myself for playing through the second generation already. It's the Shannara family and it's my favorite family ever. I have made some current household videos of that family on my channel and I will be making more of them in the future too. So if you like current household videos definitely check those out. I will leave a link in the description and an info card in the upper right corner. We are getting to the end of the video, so I just want to tell you guys that this sim will be up on the gallery. You can find her by searching the hashtag simmingbird or my origin ID simmingbird. And don't forget to tick the show me custom content box because otherwise she won't show up. And there will be a CC list as well. The, it may not be here yet, but it will be there, okay? Trust me. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments which zodiac sign you are. And if you are a Cancer, did you recognize yourself in the description that I gave? I would really love to know. If you aren't subscribed yet, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. I make creative sim videos, challenges, speed builds and I am going to be making an eco lifestyle let's play very soon as well. So if you are into those videos, please go subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the screenshots and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.